and I have some questions to ask you as well. All right. Okay. First thing I want to clarify is um, at the moment, uh, or strike just before you heard a shot. Yep. Right? I want to confirm with you that you did not hear man going uh, say anything, correct? Before you shot? Like directly before you shot, like minute, like seconds before? Anytime before or anytime after? I'm gonna, he said, I'm gonna shoot, but other than that. He said, I'm gonna shoot? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Uh, in, in the interview you gave back that night to talk about earlier, you said you didn't hear anything before the shot, correct? Right? I would have to see it. I, didn't, I don't remember it word by word, but. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Your statement of June 23, 21. Thank you. Take a look at question 150. thoughts in my head. Yeah, a few hours after the event though, right? Yeah, but it was a few hours after the event, but I just, it was a, you know, everything's still in my head. It was so obvious trauma. It wasn't a couple days, it was two hours after. Everything was still fresh in your head. Is that what you just said, essentially? Not everything, but no. the ideas are collecting in my head. There's things I could have missed. So today, you say just before they shot uh, that you heard him say, I'm going to shoot. Mm -hmm. But that night when you gave an interview, you said you, you, didn't, you, said you did not hear him say anything, right? Yeah, according to this paper, yes. Do you think the paper was wrong? No, but I just, I just read it. In the in this paper? I'm just asking. I'm just confirming with you. You never saw it all and hop over the hood of the vehicle, right? I'm not I, I saw him go to the side. You yeah, no, I'm gonna, yeah, I s That's correct, right? Correct. Yeah. Now I was. Uh, and he 
said you didn't notice the white truck until it pulled up alongside you, right? Correct. Uh, so that uh, means you didn't notice it until it pulled up beside you. You couldn't have seen it when it was behind you entering the lot, right? Correct. Uh, and therefore, you have no uh, vision of how it entered the lot or its speed or its direction, right? So it was right next to the car, correct? That's where you first saw it, right next to the car. Yeah. Now I'm asking you, well, when it entered the lot, that's something you did not see, right? Correct. Now, um, you recall the man getting out of the vehicle, mm -hmm. coming around his truck toward the Toward Dominic's car, right? Correct. All right. So what we see in uh, Exhibit K eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve—all those things that you, from your memory, memory remember seeing. Yeah, him coming towards the car with the badge out. Correct. Okay. And you said you, you, it looked like a badge. You weren't sure because. Didn't have your glasses on. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know what type of badge. I just knew it was a badge. All right. So you could see well enough to see it was a badge, just not what type. Correct. Now, and then you strike up Dominic, backed up, down the driveway toward the street, right? Correct. Correct. And then, uh, as he as he concluded his backwards motion down the driveway, the man who had been walking down the driveway ended up in front of the vehicle, down his vehicle, right? Correct. Right. And then uh, you remember seeing Dominic drive right at him in an effort to get him out of the way, right? No. Okay. Take a look at uh, question 79. question? Yes. So Dominic drove forward to get the guy out of the way, right? No. Mr. Dolan tapped the hood at following the car as we tried to get away. Say that again? Mr. Dolan tapped the hood, like tapped it, like moving, moving his body towards the car as we were trying to get away. We never tried to hit Dolan to get him away. Even if it said it in this report, we did not do that. And so even if you said it in this report, we did not do that. Is that what you said? We, well, Dominic's driving the car, but in my best interest, um, I, we did not try to hit Dolan. Well, yeah, I'm not saying you were driving. I'm Correct. I'm talking about Dominic. Yes. So in your prior statement, you said you drove forward to get him out of the way, right? Uh-huh. Now you're saying that didn't happen. I'm saying he didn't try to hit him. That wasn't the main objective, was to hit him to get him out of the way. Okay, uh, look at question 126 through 134. I have located it. 
Okay, question 126. <clears throat> but he eventually gets to the front of your cop. Answer and flash. Question, do you see his cop in front of you or do you just see him in front of you? Answer, I have, uh, maybe his car was behind him, but I did, I did see, definitely saw him flash his badge in front of us. Next question, all right. And is that right, like right in front of the, yeah. Car like that, yeah. Question, okay, all right. And then he flashes the badge and, uh, in front of the car. And what does Dominic do? Answer, Dominic, he flashes. Dominic edges a little bit. Because the guy's like at the front of the car to get, question, edges forward a little bit? Answer, yeah. To get him, like, you know, to get him off. 132, like us. Get him off us. Yeah. 133, yep, gotcha. Answer. And, he, and um, that's when the guy gets pissed because he almost got hit by, uh, like, you know, and then he comes around and shoots the window, the window is closed. Question, all right. And you're saying that happened right there in the parking lot, all one incident. Does Dominic end up going backwards at all, or how does he get out of the parking lot? Answer, I don't remember the, I said removal, but I think it was meant to say maneuver. He did get around the guy. I just know we, we obviously drew, go forward to get away. Okay. So there you say that Dominic, that the man was in front of the car, flashing his badge, and Dominic goes forward to get him off. You said that. Right? Yeah, that's what the report says. Can you ask the question? Do you have a question? That's what you said, right? Correct, in the report, yeah. Well, do you think they typed it up wrong? No, I do not think that. But what I think Dominic's intention was is what different than what the actual driver's intention was. Talking about your prior testimony. Yeah. As compared to your testimony today. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. And according to your testimony, your prior testimony, the only thing the man had done at that point before Dominic drove forward to move him out of the way or get him off of you was to be in front of the car flashing his badge. Correct? I don't know. You don't know? It happened, that's what I said in the report, but right. he was approaching our car very angrily. Say that again? He was approaching the front of the car in an angry manner. An angry man? Yes. So this angry man, let's watch the uh, Exhibit 8 clips. Around 12, he's at the front of his truck pulling what he thought was a badge, right? <coughs> Get a clear line right to the body, uh, right? Correct. This angry man, okay? Yep. Doesn't shoot, does it? Not at that point. Doesn't run out to the vehicle, or knock into it, kick it, punch it, anything like that, right? No, but he's tapping the hood. Over here? Well, not right directly over there, but <coughs> following those events. He, well, he's approaching our car in, with an angry face. If Dominic go into him to get him out of the way, he might tap the hood to protect himself, huh? Stands to reason, doesn't it? Just gonna say yes or no? No. Okay, so now let's go another frame. That was exit that was uh, exhibit A twelve. Thirteen. Now he's driving backwards, the man's coming around in front of his truck, still has some hand his hands up, right? Correct. Doesn't shoot at the car then, does he? No. 
Does it pick up a rock and throw it at it, Drew? No. Does it go running to the car, jumping on the car, banging into it with his feet or his hands or anything? No. He walks as Dominic backs. Right? So that's a pretty quick walk in the video that you're referring to. Yeah. And it's a pretty, pretty quick. Quick walk, yeah. He's not and sprinting. A quick backwards drive by Dominic, too. To yeah. avoid your client. He was scared. Correct. 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 So one person here seems to be acting in a measured way, going, and the other person is driving in a panic way backwards. I would not. Agree with that? No, I would not call that a manner okay. way. Let's go to the next frame. We still see Dolan, we see some of Dominic's car, correct? Correct. And since there are no other vehicles between Dolan and Dominic's car, Dolan clearly has a clean line of shot if he wanted to at the alley, right? Correct. Correct, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, it would be an easy shot there, right? Correct. No car coming at him, right? Correct. Right. That was A14. Okay, A15. You can see Dominic driving. The man is somewhere on the side of the vehicle. You can't see him, but you know there was no shot taken at that time, right? No. All right, and no rocks, or bottles, or kicks, or punches under the vehicle, nothing like that, right? Nope. Just a man walking towards it, holding on a badge, right? Correct. Was there discussion in the vehicle at that point? No. About this, this person perhaps being a policeman? No, we were scared. We didn't, we didn't say anything. We were just shocked. But backtracking the events before this, how, you, how Mr. Dolan pulled into the parking lot was, more, was definitely not relaxing or in a calm manner. Well, we'll go back to that if you want, but you never saw him pull into the parking lot, right? Well, I saw him when he pulled in fast in front of us. I didn't know it was fast if you didn't see him enter the lot. You can see a car abruptly stop. I, don't, I want to say that's entering the parking lot if he's in the parking lot stopping. Okay, he abruptly stops. I don't think the video up shortly, but unless you remember this, he abruptly stops so he didn't hit Dominic's car, which had just turned in front of him, right? Correct. Would you have preferred that he not abruptly stop and instead crash into Dominic's car? No, but you shouldn't have to abruptly stop if you're parking into a parking spot like that, you, if you're pulling into a spot, you shouldn't have to pull in front of us like that and abruptly stop in front of the car. You should park between the, lane, the lines. Dominic didn't have any end of the lot, did he? He, he, drove didn't, right he, didn't, get a he didn't get a chance to park because he was trying to back in. So he, did, so he didn't just pull straight in to any of the spots? No, because he maybe So maybe this vehicle wanted to do the same thing. I guess you could say that. Well, I did say that. Right. For all you know, this was just another pizza customer coming. Right? I disagree, but... Well, at the time, I'm not saying you saw a badge when you first pulled in. Mm -hmm. When you first pulled in, it's just a light truck. Could be a mom, a dad, a teenager, wanting to buy pizza. Right? I disagree, but... You disagree, and I'll get to the show because you were concerned about something that happened on the highway, whether it was with him or any of the other vehicles. That is true, is it not? What, you what is it? Can you repeat the question? You were concerned whether it was with him or any other vehicle that he might have passed on the highway that something may have happened on the highway that would make someone from that highway pull into the lot next to you. No. Sure, is it not? And we took the exit to get out to that roadway. You turned around to see if anyone was following you off the highway. 
I don't remember that. Okay, go to question 47 through 48. Okay. I have. All right, question 47. Okay. And you took the exit for Wicked Good Pizza, which we know is exit six. Do you, when you took the ramp, was your head up, down, still in the music? Did you look up at the stop sign or a stoplight or anything like that? Answer. I, I believe I looked, just turned around. But I didn't notice like anyone, anybody following us. Or if we did anything wrong, I don't yep, recall. The same and I say, I believe I was not 100% certain at that moment. But you said, that when you took off, when you got off the exit ramp, you answered the detective's question by saying, you turned around to see if anyone was following you off the ramp, off the highway. Correct, I believe. Not 100% certain. I'm going to get back to this, but just driving along heavily on the highway, nothing unusual, right? Not that I remember it now. So for some reason, you take the off ramp and you turn around to see if that can follow it. I said I believe. I wasn't 100% certain. And I. I could just be looking around the car. And then that's not what you said, though. You, was, you said you looked back to see if anyone was coming off of the highway. Mm -hmm. uh, well, objection to that. That's a mischaracterization. That's the same. Classify violent. But. A16, we can still see a little bit of Dominic's car. And now we can see Officer Golden, right? Mm -hmm. Again, he's got a clear, unimpeded line of fire to that vehicle. <coughs> he was so inclined to shoot at this vehicle at that moment in time, right? Yeah. Track your security now, right? Yep, correct. That would be one hell of an easy shot to make, wouldn't it? Uh, I believe as a security officer, you never shoot into a car. Never. That's not what, oh, that's not what I asked you. I just said that would be an easy shot to make, right? Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm an unarmed officer. I've never fired a gun in my life, but. Okay. So if someone was angry and was shooting because they were angry, great opportunity to do it. All these opportunities we just went over, right? Correct. But it didn't happen. Not at that moment, no. What happens is, and it's not on, no, two angry angles of the pizza shop camera just didn't catch it. But something happens off camera that then leads to a shooting down at the bottom of that right way, right? Correct. Yeah. And one thing you did certainly see was a man was going standing in front of the vehicle holding his badge up and Dominic went toward him. Correct, but he, he released the badge. The badge, he didn't always hold the badge. And if Dolan wanted to get out of the way of the vehicle at that point, he's either going to have to go to one side or the other, either his right or his left, right? 
Dolan's right or Dolan's left, right? Correct. And all this time he's been walking down the driveway, right? Mr. Dolan was? Yes. Correct. Was someone else walking down the driveway? No, I was making sure I'm Now he's in front of the vehicle with the badge up. True. Right? Mm -hmm. Now he comes down to get a lot of the ways, as you say, right? No. So, um, if Dolan wants to get out of the way, he's going to either go right or go left. Get out of the way of that vehicle if it's coming at him, right? No. You, the, Mr. Dolan did not need to approach the car as we're backing up. He did not approach the car. No, he did not have to approach the car. He did. Or the car approached him. What? Can you repeat or that? Or the car approached him. We were um, driving, aiming for Mr. Dolan. We were driving to get out of the parking lot. But you we said afraid. in the prior statement that he drove at him to get him out of the way. Prior statement? That was a long night. That was the same night of the event. It was. Correct. Yeah, the same one was taking the same night of the shooting. For the record, I think that's exhibit 19. Correct in that drawing, yes. 
Now you know that's that's not accurate, right? It's not fully accurate, no. Well, it's not even close to being accurate, is it? No. No one's vehicle was up close to the pizza place, right? Correct. the window, yeah, correct. The left front corner of Dominic's vehicle, right? Yep. Okay. Not in the middle of his vehicle. The left front corner, right? Correct. And that was supposed to represent his location at the time of the shot, wasn't it? When he grew it. Correct. If he had come out from the front of the vehicle and drew his weapon to shoot at the time of this shot, seeing that the car was going forward, that's just about where Dolan would be, wouldn't it? Can you repeat that question, please? If Dolan came out from the front of the car, drawing his weapon and aiming to shoot and shot, that's just about where he'd be as the car was coming forward and he was coming out from in front. Referring to the image? The Refer front referring to of referring where that X is on the image? We already talked about that. Mm hmm He'd be in the front corner? No, where I put the X is incorrect. So you put it in an incorrect spot. You understand that this man's guilt or innocence depends on the accuracy of his location? Correct. So you've done it in the wrong spot. An inaccurate spot. Right? Inaccurate to that drawing. Yes. It wasn't precise. You didn't hear the last thing you said. It was not, the X was not precise to where you shot. Well, that's the point I'm trying to make. Mm -hmm. Precision is important in this case. Do you understand that? I 100% I agree. I agree. Repeat that question. Sorry. He drove forward. Dominic drove forward and drove up Route Three after this incident, right? Correct. All right. So and you were in the vehicle, or I guess you were in a kind of panic state as well, right? Correct. This was something unusual for you, right? Yes. Right. And Dolan he's on foot, and Dominic is moving forward, unless Dominic runs him right over, Dolan is going to be on one side of that vehicle or another at some point in time, right? Correct. Which is what you might have seen at some point in time in your appearance state as you're exiting that area, right? As I'm exiting? No. He was not in front of the car. Well, of course he wasn't at that moment. Yes. Down the road he went by him. Yes. Right. He went on the side well, of the car. The only point I'm making is that Dolan is always going to end up on the side of that car and then behind that car by like 100 yards the more down it goes forward. Correct? Can you repeat that question? As 
Dominic drives forward. Since Dolan is on foot mm -hmm. and wasn't run down at the moment, he's always going to, Dolan's always going to end up on one side of that vehicle or another, and at another point, way behind it by 100 or so yards. Right? Correct. And anywhere along that point, you might have seen him on the side of the vehicle. True. Correct. Correct. And you keep your prior testimony on that point was that it was 70 miles an hour above. The testimony being the witness statement? Yeah. yeah I said it was 70. Yeah. You've now learned a dead amount of that not even close to the direction of speaking. No, it was not close. You decided to say it that night. You're talking to a detective about your best buddy, right? Yeah, Dominic's my best friend, yeah. yeah. Last thing you want to do is get him in trouble, right? Correct. Yeah. So you uh, kind of fitted with us on the speed amount, right? By saying it was seven. In the witness statement? Yeah, that was a lie. Day. We start tomorrow at 9.